odds with each other. Now look to settle things in this triple threat match with Xavier Woods, Big E, and Damian Priest. The significance of this match being no countouts or disqualifications can't be understated. Not only do you have to worry about a second opponent, but you gotta worry about your adversaries fighting dirty and it being perfectly legal. Oh, back elbow smash, nothing fancy. And he's able to reverse. Oh, right to the gut. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Endless knee strikes. Corey, there are so many variables in a triple threat. Does that make it possible to execute any sort of strategy? Well, everybody's got a plan until they get drilled in the face. You gotta watch your back. The shot that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. Byron, how do you plan for a battle like this? Well, I try and fight out of a corner because then at least you see everything that's in front of you. Priest able to adapt. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Oh, what a right! WWE superstars live on the edge every time they step in the ring, but in a no disqualification match, they find themselves even closer to that edge. You're right, Corey. Anything goes here, so these superstars have to be ready to play defense against any weapons the opposition might use. If history is any guide, this match will just get more chaotic and brutal as the minutes go by. The superstars feel each other out a bit, weather some storms, and then do everything in their power to get the pinfall or submission. Oh, targeting the stomach from behind the sound of this crowd is deafening and he's asking for more nice amateur takedown all the way over To win a triple threat match, you must be opportunistic. If you could play your opponents against each other, then you could sit back, bide your time, and steal the win when they've beaten each other down. I like the sound of that strategy. We'll see if any of these superstars take that path in this match. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. This allows a superstar to pursue victory by any means necessary. And some experience a state of twisted ecstasy while punishing their adversary. We are witnessing an environment where competitors can embrace their anger and aggressive instincts because it's all evil. <laughs> I'm glad you're done believing in fairy tales, Saxton. The hero doesn't always win. Sometimes you have to embrace the darkness. Man. Double underhook, underhook suplex. Ooh-wee. Oh. My goodness, did you hear that chop? Corey, in your mind, what's the best strategy to take in a triple threat match? Unfortunately, there's no one right answer. These matches are too unpredictable yeah. to plan for, but a good rule of thumb is to be aggressive and control the action in the ring. Priest dodges out of that. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, stomping away. Waist lock. Belly to belly. Suplex. Honing in on the arm. 